and welcome to day 11 of our daily draw. My name is Miss Jessica and today we are going to be making a turkey, which is perfect for this time of the year. I don't know about you, but around November and December, there's so much turkey, especially at holiday meals. So we're going to make a cute little turkey and let's go ahead and get started. I want you guys to grab your paper. I'm going to grab mine and we're going to turn it up and down vertical. Now make sure you have your box with your number inside, day 11, however you would like to write that, and grab your pencils. Like always, I'm going to use my Sharpie, and we're going to begin with our turkey's body. So we're going to make a really big circle for the body. I'd like to start right about the middle, maybe a little bit towards the bottom of the paper, and we're just going to make a really big U, almost like a whole circle. Go ahead, I want you guys to add that. Nice big U, however much space is left at the top is just how wide his head will be, so I'm going to leave it up to you. If you end up not liking, maybe it's a little too small or big, just erase and try again. Between those two lines, we're just going to draw a really tall rainbow. We're making our turkey look super cute today. So go ahead and finish up with the body and the head. Okay, so now that we have his cute head and body, let's decorate the inside. We're going to start with some wings. So on the left and right side, we're just going to draw a backward C from top to bottom and a regular C. And those are really long. That's important. Then we're going to jump up to his head. And right about the middle, I want you guys to add two eyes. I'm going to start with circles. And if you would like to decorate those eyes, maybe go with eyelashes, put a little sparkle in there, please do. Next is going to be the beak. So between our eyes, we're going to draw a little rainbow shape. That's going to be for the top of the beak, not just a tiny sad face. <laughs> and we're going to put a triangle underneath or maybe more of a V shape. And there we have our turkey's beak. Now something that turkeys have is that little piece underneath. So we're actually going to have it come from the side. We're going to start on the corner of the beak and curve it down almost like a raindrop and back up. So go ahead and add that little bit to the end of the beak. Now turkeys have really big feathers. Only um, those male turkeys do so they can show it off for the females, which is kind of fun to think about. So we're going to add some lines to start to build all those feathers. So let's go to the side of the body. And we're going to start with a straight line over to the right. Now notice I did not go to the end of the paper. Leave some space because we need to add the tops of the feathers. Then I want you to hop over to the other side and draw one more off to the left. Again, not going all the way to the end of the paper. Now before you start drawing some feathers, we're actually going to add more lines. Let's jump up right about where the head and the body meet, and we're going to draw a diagonal line that goes out and stop. Then jump to the other side, same thing, right about where the head and body meet, diagonal line up and stop. Now two more lines, let's jump up to the top of the head on the right, one more diagonal line up and stop. Jump to the other side and one more line up. Now, it looks kind of silly because there's just all these lines around him, but each one is going to connect together with a curve. So let's start on the right. We're going to touch the bottom line and curve our line out and stop when we reach that line. Almost like big rainbows all the way across the turkey for the top of the feathers. So let's go ahead and continue. We're just going to keep adding more rainbows from one line to the next. All the way across and stop once you get to the bottom. And there you have all those big feathers around your turkey. Now we're going to draw one more thing for our feathers. I'm going to go to my left one here, and I'm just going to draw another curve on the inside. And one more underneath it, like a stripe. But we need to curve our stripes to show that it's a feather and not just a straight line. So let's go ahead on each one. Right where you stop your line, we're just going to continue and draw more curved lines all the way around. So we're just going to keep going until, again, just keep curving those all the way till we get to the bottom on the opposite side. And there we have our curves. We can color that and decorate that different when we get to our next step. Last thing we need are some feet. So we're going to go to the sides of his body. Now he's not standing, he's sitting. He's a cute little turkey, so he's sitting down. We're going to go to the left all the way almost to the side, under the wing, and we're going to draw a diagonal line that goes out one, jump to the other side, a second one, two, 
Should start to look like he's sitting. And at the bottom of each foot, just add two lines that come out to the side. And there, my friends, is our turkey who is sitting down uh, looking at us. He's super, super cute. All right, now what I want you guys to do is grab your Sharpies. You guys can use different ones, that's up to you, but go ahead and trace your whole picture. Make sure to color in those eyes as well with your Sharpie. But once you're done tracing and colored in the eyes, you'll be ready to color. So let's go ahead and pause your video, and when you're ready, go ahead and press play so we can color together. All right, you guys, so hopefully you have finished tracing everything. It's time to begin our coloring steps. We're gonna be using a couple things today. Our first one is going to be some markers, just a little bit. You can use any kind of markers you want. I have Crayola, I also have Mr. Sketch. And we're going to be using watercolors as well. Now watercolors, we're gonna do some fun techniques. So make sure you have lots of water with you, brushes, and your palette. Now you can also have fun if you have maybe some sort of gel pens with you. I'm gonna use this goldish yellow, they're kind of sparkly, and maybe a green one as well. So if you have some sort of sparkly pens or things like that, you can grab those out. Otherwise, you can just use more markers or crayons. All right, let's grab some markers and begin that first step. We're gonna to start to color in some of the smaller things like beak, wing. So let's start with our beak. I'm gonna grab my orange, and I'm just gonna fill this whole beak in. Now remember our color scheme we've been talking about. We're gonna have orange, yellow, red, brown, and a little bit of green. So I'm gonna try to stick to those colors, but always have fun, use whatever you do have. I'm gonna make this little side piece here, this little waddle red, so I have a beak, orange and some red and then for the sides where his wings are you guys can have fun and choose whatever color you want but I'm gonna stick with my orange and I'm actually going to get a little bit darker orange that I have here and I'm just gonna outline and fill that in so let's go ahead and color those wings when you're done both sides all right now we only have one more thing to fill in once you're done with those wings that's going to be the stripes on all the feathers. You guys can really do any color. Maybe you want to do more than one. You can do red, orange, red, orange. Have a pattern going all the way around. I'm just going to do yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. So when you're ready, go ahead and choose what you would like for the stripes on your feathers. And a, a friendly reminder for everyone, if you ever need to pause and finish something, Please do so in this video and then just press play when you are ready to move on. So again, I'm just outlining, going around all my stripes. Have some fun with those colors. Don't color anything else because the rest is going to be watercolor. Oh, actually we're gonna do one more thing and then we're gonna do our watercolors. Now we're gonna do a fun technique with watercolors called wet into wet. You've maybe tried it before. Um, or maybe this is your first time. So stick around and I'll show you how to do that as well. Last thing we're going to be coloring is the body of our turkey. And we're going to use a brown, at least I am. I recommend brown because most turkeys have brown feathers. So we're going to outline all the way around the head and body, around those wings so we don't accidentally color inside. I'm even going to outline around the beak because I don't want to color brown inside. I already colored it a color. <laughs> and then I'm just going to practice my long up and down lines. You can go over the eyes. If you have a little sparkle though, be careful. You don't want to cover that up. And we're going to try to get all the white spaces. So let's go ahead and just finish up that body of the turkey. And then we're going to move into our now, it depends on what kind of paper you have. If you have a thicker paper, you should be fine today. But if you notice your paper is thin, be very careful. Wet into wet can cause the paper to rip. So if you notice that it's getting too much water on your paper, stop and wait and let that dry. And you can always just put more paint on top. So let's go ahead and grab our watercolors. I have my palette and I have my bucket with my brushes up here in the corner. Now I'm gonna be using this medium size 
size brush because I don't want to paint my marker. If I paint my marker, it'll make the color of the marker start to bleed and run everywhere. So we have to be super, super careful. We're going to dip our brush in our water and we're actually going to paint water straight into the feather. So let's just begin with one. Let's begin with our feather on the left. Again, just water. Make sure you wipe every time, otherwise you'll have too much. Again, be careful. You don't need a whole lot. Now we're going to go back, dip, wipe, and we're going to choose some fall colors. I'm going to use orange, one, two, three, and I'm just going to poke my paper. And what happens is that color starts to mix with the water and it starts to spread. It looks really cool. Once you're done adding some dots, clean your brush and grab a red. And you're going to continue to do the same thing and just putting that red all over and watch as they swirl together. So I want you guys to continue to do so. You can use red, orange, yellow, any shade of those, maybe even a little brown if you would like to. I'm going to do some yellow next. Make sure to clean your brush in between each time. Otherwise, if you don't, it will start to make some weird colors in your palette. So just be careful. Make sure I get those edges really good. I'm just going to start to paint those a little bit. And we're going to let that dry. When it dries, it looks beautiful. So I want you guys to go ahead. We're going to do that for every single feather. So I'm just going to paint with pure water first. It's okay if the watercolor from the previous feather starts to get into it because we're just going to add more paint anyway. But just do one feather at a time. If you do more than that, it will actually um, dry that water and then you can't do this technique. So it has to be wet still. But continue red, oranges, and yellows. You could do maybe a little more yellow in one, a little more red in the others. Have some fun with that as well. So I'm just going to continue. If you notice that you start to get too much water, you can always take a towel and just very lightly tap your paper and it will pick up any big puddles. Because sometimes there is a little bit too much puddles. Um, we just have to be very, very careful. All right, keep going on all those feathers. Some might look a little darker, some might look a little lighter. That's all right. We kind of want our feathers to all be different. Turkey feathers are not all the same every single time we see them. Put a little bit of orange. I'm going to do some more yellow. I want this one to be a little lighter and a little red. Now this needs to dry. So don't try to pick your paper up when you're done because it'll be too wet. All right, two more feathers to go. Again, water first. Now if this technique is starting to not work, they're not mixing together, your paper looks like it's about to rip, just go ahead and paint each feather a different color. You don't have to do wet into wet, um, but it's a pretty cool technique to try if you've never done it before. But again, I don't want you to rip your paper because we already did so much hard work with our cute turkeys. Now one of the last things we'll do is just a little bit in our background. We're going to add some grass, make it green, and then we'll just add our little bit of sparkle with our gel pens and that will be the end. Now of course all these are optional. You guys can definitely have fun, create any kind of background that you would like as long as you're having fun and thinking of our fall theme for this month. A little bit of orange and my last one red. Now of course you may have taken a little more time than me, so maybe you're not all the way done yet. Please take as much time as you need to, pause that video, and then press play when you're ready to move on to the background. Now I'm going to continue to use my green, or excuse me, my small brush, and I'm going to clean it really good, wipe it. And I'm going to grab some dark green. So let's go ahead, now that we're done with our feathers, get some dark green. We're going to add a shadow under our turkey. So all I'm going to do is paint side to side. And look how I'm barely touching the paper, and there's a little bit of white showing through. We want that to happen. I'm just going to have it go right underneath him, just like so. And that's going to be it for that shadow. We don't need a whole lot. Then I want you guys to grab your smallest brush you have. Get so 
some more green, and let's draw a little ground line from the feathers to the edge of the paper. Careful not to get in too wet and too wet. <laughs> and using this small brush, we're gonna draw some grass lines. So I'm gonna use it holding it like a pencil, trying to use the tip, and I'm just dragging my lines upward all over. So go ahead and try this out. If it's not working so well, you can always do this with a marker. Don't have to do it with the brush, but I just think it looks a little more realistic when we add those brush lines in there. Now my friends, this is going to be the last thing to do, but I want to give you guys a little bit of tips for the end. Now I mentioned gel pens and the green sparkly marker that I have. With my gel pen, what I would do is I would go around to every single yellow line and I would add a little bit at the bottom, almost like I'm outlining again. It's a little hard to see, but it should start to look a little sparkly at the bottom. Be careful because you don't want it to get in the water, so I would wait till it's a completely dry. For my green sparkly pen, I would just go around to all my grass. Maybe you didn't add it yet, so now take that green pen and add some more grass lines. They'll just look maybe a little bit darker, um, a little bit more realistic. So have some fun finishing up the end of your project today. And wonderful job, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us here at Feeble Kids Art Academy, Daily Draw 11. My name is Ms. Jessica. I hope to see you guys again. Bye.